what's going on welcome to my next video in this video i'm going to be showing how to draw clothing on the female figure and if you want to see any videos on how i pose the figure there's links to that below and also the equipment that i use you can find links to that below also and don't forget to hit that like button now right now i am putting the curves on the figure and i'm following the picture here from the program figurosity you can check that out also and what i did with the, the model and the software is i for these different pictures i rotated it so you can draw the clothing from different angles so right now i got the front view and i am curving the, the lines around the shapes of the of the figure and you can see that each line i'm curving around and you can see when i'm doing the creases the creases there's tension points in when you're drawing clothing so like where the elbows are there's tension there where the shoulders are and depending on where the arms is moving you're 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 putting more wrinkles there because the tension is is, is higher than depending on when you when your elbow is bent and usually there's tension where the elbows are anyway so right now i'm drawing in more of the lines and the elbow following the picture and it's always when you're doing clothing is to go by reference because if you try to figure out where to place the wrinkles or the creases then you're kind of you're kind of skew or mess the picture up so always you go by reference and then the more you go by reference then the, when you start doing it out of your head you can easily pick up on it so right now i'm getting the neck in I know, she, I know she's holding two swords and everything but i'm not going to focus on that i'm just focusing more on drawing the clothing of the figure i'm adding in the wrinkles in the shorts I'm curving the line around the shape try to avoid making straight lines if you make a straight line then it'll look too flat so you kind of have to go around the shape follow, follow the shapes that you're that you have posed out Now I'm adding in more, more creases in that, that middle area. Use that middle section will, uh, in between your legs. There's a lot of wrinkles there also, a lot of creases there. And based on how the legs are moving, you have to adjust the creases accordingly, and that, which I probably will have in other future videos showcasing that also. Getting that, that pocket in onto the hoodie. Just the lines in. And if I usually if I was to ink this, I'll just go over with black and just uh, I guess a black brush pen or or black ink brush is the kind of the best ways of that I like to use for inking. A more fluid way of inking for me. Now this is the side view. You know, the wrinkles don't change much, but just showing how what the difference is and what it's, how it's showing the side of the, the pose you know, I'm getting that wrinkle in that that back area a little small bend there and that's kind of one of the features I like in figurosity we can just take the pose and you can rotate it around do a top view side view angle view to get the different pose you need especially when you're trying to draw if you're drawing a shape or a figure one way and you're trying to get how to figure how the creases will look from a top view you can get that also out of it so right now i'm getting the hoodie in the back i mean normally i'll do this with a pencil but uh, for purposes of the video i'm just using a pen so i kind of i kind of have a general idea of where the place the clothing on the figure without really messing up even though i probably messed up a few times anyway but not enough to where it's uh i feel like warming up or anything it should make a difference if you're practicing you shouldn't have to worry about messing up just focus on trying to get the overall shapes in and curves wrinkles and creases the other short Fold on the shorts. Also following and staying with the 
model shape that I have drawn already. And right now I'm just, I'm just darkening the lines a little bit more. Sometimes when the, out, the outline edges of the, the pose of the model, I can just outline it with a, a darker pen kind of show it show more but show to stick with this that was it 0 0.5 pin now I have the back and the back is a little bit tricky depending on what position or what pose the character is doing and right now the if you see the pose the character has her arms back and I'm going to show how the folds change when you're doing the back of the, the arms or when the arms are pulling back because she's have the swords kind of, uh, behind her putting in getting the shoulders in make sure I get the creases in the shoulders the arms and because the arms are pulling back there's a little more uh, creases and curves in the arm going backwards. So right now I'm putting a lot more creases in the back area to show that her arms are actually pulling back. Getting at the sides, because there's always a crease there because since the, the jacket is tight to her waist, there's a little crease in the waist area. Curves in the shoulders. Down the arm, a little short or small sleeve there. And just like everything else, the more practice it, that you do this on, the more you'll, you'll stick to your head. Getting a waistline in. And right when you get down to the butt area, you know that it's, it's, it's round there, so you have to. Follow that. Okay. The rest of the leg and the shorts in. You see how I've added a lot more creases in that back area, especially bottom to where the underarm is, to showcase that her arms are pulling back. Now I'll make a different video on it also, but there's different ways of shading the clothing also to make the creases stand out or pop out more. Finish off the shorts. Make sure I get all the creases in. As long as you get all the creases in the shoulders and the uh, and the arms, you should be good. As long as you memorize that creases go in high tension areas, then you should be good to go. Right, that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Take care.